This is Dan, your trusted AI man. Did you know that the smellier your farts are, the more your body is struggling to deal with bad bacteria in your gut? The less cooked your meat is, the higher the chances that it will rot inside your gut before it is expelled. Eating too much fruit can also produce a lot of bad bacteria through fermentation. Excessively processed food impairs gut function by depriving good bacteria of essential nutrients, leading to metabolic imbalance. Sugar makes your body cells lazy and reduces their stamina. It provides easily accessible energy that, unfortunately, depletes quickly. Despite the apparent differences, the world inside our bodies mirrors the world around us exactly. Don't believe me? Just consider these few comparisons between the world around us and the one inside our bodies. On planet Earth, we have soldiers, doctors, workers, engineers, an infrastructure for transport, for communications, and so on. All these and more are inside our bodies, too. Soldiers, and yes, you actually are leading a massive army of soldiers, and they are fighting under your command daily. How cool is that? Let's move on. Your soldiers are usually fighting the bad bacteria which you put in your mouth when you forget to wash your hands before you eat something. Unfortunately, your soldiers are getting weaker and weaker every time they are not supplied with adequate nutrition. Feeding them chips and burgers all day long will soon force your soldiers to soon buy XXL uniforms and not even be able to lift their swords up, let alone fighting for hours or sometimes days. No joke. The doctors are fixing your scratches and most other physical issues, but they need the right chemicals to be able to fix all these issues fast and right. Otherwise, they will start sounding the alarm for the workers to start sourcing these necessary chemicals from anywhere else possible, even if they have to break apart other parts of the body to get them. Can you see what happens to that body part after it has been broken apart to extract the necessary chemicals? In two words, it's bad. These chemicals could instead be introduced in the body from a good variety of foods, ideally swallowed as close as possible in their raw state, like, oh, apologies, but I have to say it, salads. Now, can you imagine what will happen to your body's workers as well? Imagine a TV, a soft couch, and a remote control. They will spend most of the day in that couch, as you are always making sure to deliver them all the fish and chips they are asking for to get fatter and fatter by the hour. Imagine what happens when the doctors are calling them to go find the chemicals we were talking about. They are not even able to get up the couch, leaving the body unhealed. There is good news as well, but for now, allow me to explain what happens to our bodies when the workers are in a good shape. After we stop growing, the workers continue to rebuild a new body every 90 days. That's right, we get a very new body every 90 days. It's up to each of us to decide what will the new body will be built of. Fried potatoes and chocolate, accompanied by a soda pop, or vegetables, seeds, and a bit of fruit, combined with laughter and loads of running around, climbing, and jumping when playing with friends. So, what do you say? Do you want to lead your army to victory? Or you want to get sick by the enemy and feel bad a lot of times? Now you know. Just be smart.